Hi guys and ladies, I'm going to take my best ever fish sandwich idea from three years ago, tweak it, and do it again. It deserves an encore. I wanted a few more fish for the recipe though, so despite muddy water and cold windy weather yesterday, I went in quest of bluegill. Take a look. I'm going to make my first cast right here off the dock. I can't believe it. It's snowing out here. The water is muddy. It's windy. It's unbelievable that I'm able to catch a nice bluegill for our recipe. <laughs> Come on. That's a crappie. Oh, oh. Oh my goodness! Oh. That's a big crappie. Why do they run big in my lake lately? I don't know why. I'm taking them out. I'll fillet them. Crappie cakes. I got one. Under the boat. <laughs> uh, it's a small gill, but it's edible. It's of that size, seven and a half inches is all we need. Oh yeah. He hit right under the boat. I need to show you what I'm using. It's just a little one and a half inch grub, plastic grub with a live, look at that, live mealworm on it for a little extra attraction. Seems to work. All right, that's a beauty. Look at the colors. Salmon color. Oh, I love this. Oh, oh, I've been freezing out here. I think that's it. Let's go in the house and we'll fillet our fish. And tomorrow we'll make fish sandwiches. It was brutal out there yesterday, but somehow I managed to catch bluegill for over, look, a half pound of these nice bluegill fillets. And with these that I had frozen, we have a pound now. I'll use the crappie another day. Well, we need bread for our sandwiches, and it has to be low carb, you know me. Well, I found a five star recipe online. I don't know if I can pull it off, but let's start by making our sandwich bread five stars. Well, we'll see about that. Here are two cups of almond flour. Almond flour is very low in carbs. You've seen me use it before. Here's something I never used before. Psyllium husk powder, one quarter cup. I looked it up. It's some sort of herb or plant from India. You ask a psyllium question and you get a psyllium answer. Here's one tablespoon of baking powder, not baking soda. Baking powder has no carbs and it has to be fresh. So I threw away my 1989 can and bought a new one. The recipe says a half teaspoon of sea salt. Well, I only have kosher salt. I probably am ruining the recipe, but there goes. 
Now let's just stir this stuff up and delumpify it. Now I have to beat up four eggs. I'm a gentle guy. I'm not used to beating. Here's coconut oil. The second week in a row I'm using it. Here's one quarter cup. I have to melt this in the microwave. First the melted coconut oil. Now our beaten up eggs. Here's a quarter cup of warm water. It says try to mix well to create air bubbles. So I'll just do this for a couple of hours. I've beaten that enough and I'm tired. Now I'm supposed to transfer that batter to a baking pan lined with parchment paper. Well, did you ever try to get parchment paper to conform to your will? Well, I use non-stick foil. I hope it works. Here goes. This bread. It's not going to be very high. It's going to be low bread. I don't know. It might be easier to just buy low-carb bread. This better be enough. That's all I'm doing. Now it's time to get it in the oven. I've got the oven set at 350. This is supposed to go in between 55 and 70 minutes. So I'll check it at 58 minutes and 13 seconds. Here goes. I'm late. It's been 59 minutes. Eh, looks pretty good. Kind of gray though. Oh, that's that psyllium husk. That makes it a little grayish purple. It's dry as a bone. It's hard. I think we're done. Let's let it cool and then we'll slice it. All I'm doing now is breaking slices of cheese in half for our sandwiches. This is the moment of truth. Time to cut the bread. Look, the non-stick foil worked. Look how short our bread is, like me. Look at this. <laughs> I can't stop eating the end pieces. Mm -hmm. This has the texture of rye bread. Maybe it's a little bit denser, but it's really good, just like rye bread. And it has a maybe a, a nuttier flavor. I guess that comes from the almond flour, but it's delicious. It, it goes down great. You'll love it. I think you will. I do. Mm. Let's get on with the fish. I have a little breading station going on. This is one cup of Pecorino Romano. You can use the stuff in the green can. It's only a breading, but I love this stuff. Now here's three quarters cup of breadcrumbs. Ah, 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 these aren't ordinary breadcrumbs. You know, these are low carb breadcrumbs that come like this. And if you're a purist, you can even do ground up pork rinds. They work too, but let's, let's use this up. Now I've got two teaspoons of lemon pepper seasoning, McCormick's, you know. Here's a teaspoon each of onion powder and garlic powder. Here's a teaspoon of black pepper. Now we're just going to stir it up. I'm just making an egg wash here. I'm making a mess. There's four eggs and here's two teaspoons each of garlic powder and onion powder. The eggs don't break. Break! I'm going to try to remember to keep my left hand dry. And with my right hand, I'm going to egg wash up these bluegill fillets and then I'll drain it and put it into our breadcrumb mixture. Here goes. Shake off the excess and then just place it on a plate and let's continue until we're done. This is my last filet. Okay, into the plate, the holding plate. And now we'll get our big skillet ready. Now we just have to fry them up. There's a half stick of butter. I'm just going to cover the bottom of the pan with some vegetable oil. That's enough. All I'm going to do is fry these guys about two minutes on each side. Have to do it in batches, I guess. It's flipping time. Oh. Remember our cheese? Let's just put these half pieces on top of 
each fillet. Oh, I love this idea. It worked the last time. Now the fish is done. Let's get him off. Oh yeah. Look at these beauties. All I need to do now is assemble the sandwiches. Well, I have a minute. I should let you all know the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, has accepted my invitation for dinner tonight. Now, I'm so honored. I'm still trying to win her heart, though, after countless years. I've been reading that women are very attracted to men who show their sensitive side. So, I'm going to ask her to stay for an old romantic movie that always chokes me up a little. <laughs> if she sees my sensitivity, I think she'll absolutely melt in my arms and maybe even she'll profess her love for me. <laughs> I'm beyond honored tonight to have with me the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. And thank you so much for dining with me here at my, uh, my decaying, decrepit double wine. And you had a chance to exuberantly gobble up my bluegill sandwiches with homemade bread and I'm anxious to know what you thought of them. They were both, they were all very good. The uh, I liked the idea of the onions and the tomato and the lettuce because it really enhanced the uh, taste of the fish and this whole, the bread was very good too. It was, the bread. It's it was a all little, very, a little dense. Well, but it was, but it was very it was good. It was tasty. Yeah, yeah, it was very nice. Thank tasted you. Tasted good. Mm -hmm. Miss Cheeks. Oh, I can say Lulu now. You know, I was thinking, uh, do you like old romantic movies? Yes, I do. Oh, great, because I have one in mind for tonight. It's a little sad, but I'll be right next to you if, if you become emotional. Let's watch it. Okay. You knew how much I loved you. How much I still love you. 